Experts at PJSC Yakovlev have successfully tested the safety of removing drained flammable liquids from the MC-21 aircraft, which is equipped with locally manufactured systems. These liquids present in various compartments could ignite if accidentally released into other areas during abnormal conditions. Drainage openings are installed in each compartment where flammable liquids may accumulate to reduce fire hazards. These drains ensure that leaked liquids are securely removed. This prevents them from reaching engine air intakes or other critical areas. Certification requirements mandate an assessment of combustible liquid drainage safety. To confirm that drained liquids do not enter unsafe zones, tests were conducted using colored liquids matching the density of aviation fuel. The authorities then review the flight test results and prepare data for certification reports. The domestic drainage systems of the MC-21 underwent rigorous testing to verify their safety and effectiveness. Colored testing fluids helped observe drainage behavior under flight conditions. Successfully completing flight testing and report generation marks a critical milestone toward formal certification. Boeing and Airbus also implement comprehensive discharge systems that safely divert flammable liquids away from ignition sources. To prevent accumulation near engines, auxiliary power units, or electrical components, these systems use carefully designed drainage tunnels and sealed cavities. Their testing protocols employ fluids simulating the density of aviation fuel. These fluids are thoroughly analyzed to ensure they do not enter hazardous compartments. Both manufacturers also use splash shields and physical separation between fluid lines and ignition sources. In areas where combustible fluids or vapors may be present, aircraft manufacturers follow strict fire protection regulations. Drainage and ventilation systems minimize ignition risk by preventing accumulation of liquids and vapors. Design features also include component qualification, isolation, separation of electrical wiring from fluid lines, and spray shielding to block ignition sources in leakage zones. Routine inspections ensure drainage systems function properly and detect any blockages. Applying these strategies consistently is vital to reducing fire hazards during all phases of flight. The MC-21 drainage safety testing represents a state-of-the-art method that complies with standards while using locally manufactured technologies. Boeing and Airbus follow similar principles, though they also add extra fire protection measures. Together, these practices safeguard aircraft systems and passengers from fire hazards by managing flammable liquids safely. Good afternoon, my name is Dmitry Gavrilov. I am an employee of the Fire Systems Department of PJSC Yakovlev. We are at the flight test station in the city of Rukovsky, where today tests are conducted to confirm the safety of drained liquids. As part of the program of additional certification tests, MC-21 aircraft with installed systems of Russian production. What drained liquids are we talking about? The viewfinder is equipped with systems that use various fluids as their working body, such as fuel, hydraulic fluid, various oils. All of them are flammable, meaning they continue to burn after being in a remote ignition source. However, in the case is an emergency situation or failure of any component possible leakage of these systems. According to the requirements of the certification basis, it is necessary to organize any compartment where flammable liquids may enter. Drainage, and this drainage must be located in such a way that the escaping liquid does not create an additional fire hazard. The task of today's test is to determine the leakage paths of these very exposed liquids. For testing on the aircraft, a cutting fluid supply system was installed. Who is she, though? In the passenger cabin, there is an installed rack with five cylinders of liquid liquid located on it, a nitrogen cylinder, which is necessary to maintain the required pressure in the system, as well as a dye cylinder, which is necessary for, it's for the cleaning system. After testing, into the cylinder. 
paints are filled with a beautiful liquid which in viscosity and density is similar to aviation fuel the drainage of which we today strictly speaking and would not experience the supply of beautiful liquid is controlled using a remote control installed at the operator's workplace and this system is also connected to the system of onboard measurements of the aircraft for constant registration of parameters during the flight and further processing of the results. The operation of the system is to discharge the coloring liquid through holes that are in close proximity to via domain openings. Based on the results of the analysis, safety points were selected which need to be confirmed in flight. Today we are testing three points. These are two cluster parts of the aircraft and one at the center of the smooth part of the aircraft. Various flight modes trigger liquid discharge. Actions like taxiing, takeoff, landing, horizontal flight, side sliding, reverse thrust and post-flight braking are followed by surface inspections where coloring liquid contacts. In the event that coloring liquid is detected on surfaces such as, for example, air intakes, engines or elements of the braking system, additional safety analysis may be required and possible. Clarification of the design of aircraft after inspection of video and photo fixation of places of heat paint. The liquid is removed from the surface of the aircraft. Do it very easily and without damage. The varnish is just not covered. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe. Also, please take our channel membership, which is very affordable, to encourage us.